So what's up, everybody? I'm Joe from Joe's Comment Talk. So I was away this weekend, so I w did, was not able to do a YouTube uh, Sunday, but I will be doing one this Sunday. But anyways, uh, for Adventures Thursday, I got some cool comics I want to show you guys. And I did a little bit of research on the 70s era. So um, 1970s was the start of the Bronze Age comics. Um, first one I want to show you guys is Archie's Joke Book. Um, the reason I'm showing this one is there was a little bit of a shift in the 1970s. Um, they wanted to, uh, uh, Archie was really gaining popularity in the 1970s, especially with, um, female population, which is so cool. But anyways, um, this is Archie's joke book, number 149, uh, dated, uh, 1970. So this was the start of the 70s, and this is what, uh, people were reading. There was... I'm um, more focused on these type of publishers back then, which is pretty cool. So I'll do a YouTube special on some of my um, 1970s Archie's comics. Um, this is the New People, number one. I wish it was in better condition. Unfortunately, it is not. Uh, the cut back cover is missing. It's not complete, so it's in very poor condition. But it's still considerable collectible because it is number one. It is dated um, 1970 as well, so... These are the type of publishers uh, people were reading. Uh, they were shifting from uh, superhero from back in the day. This was um, five years older than me. Uh, so this for a 50-year-old comic is in pretty, still in pretty good condition. So um, 1971, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 98. Spider-Man is always popular. Uh, he's just uh, gaining really popular now. So this is... One of my rarest spider masks so to me it is valuable no matter what yes this is not perfect uh condition but it's still a uh, key issue because it's under a hundred and i love spider-man i love this cover uh so red wolf uh, number two another uh different type of marvel book in the 1970s marvel decided to um try something different with non-superhero and was making these type of comics which is why they're out so, because it is number two, is to me, it's co considerable collectible, even though it has a mark out there. This is about a $3 comic at best, because, as you guys can see, it's not in best condition. So, uh, uh, Thor Gone, I think I pronounced that right, um, 1971. Uh, again, like I say, Marvel was trying to um, do non-superhero type books, which is why we saw Conan and a bunch of these ones here. And uh, this is number 27. You can probably find these in the dollar bin, but to me it's about $3 to $5 uh, book. Uh, 1973, I believe, uh, Space Family Robinson, Lost in Space. Uh, the TV show, What I never saw the really old TV show. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the channel, so it was on. But the, yes, this was a TV show. Uh, I love Go Key comments. I think this is one of my more valuable ones. It's about a $10 to $15 book. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. So Marvel Double Team Up, um, 1975. I'm very fond of 1975 books because that was the year I was born. So yes, I am that old, but uh, it is what it is. In the mid-70s, Marvel started to do Team Up characters because people wanted to see them. And it is so awesome. That even though Captain America and Iron Man teamed in Avengers, they decided to uh, do do make team up uh for iron man just captain america which is cool so uh again i love fantastic four um this is marvel's greatest comments uh reprints of stories uh this isn't probably another valuable one i have i say it's about five to ten dollar book uh conditions uh unfortunately not there but there is in still pretty good condition uh champions number 12 uh from 1978 um, with Hercules on the cover from the Avengers. He's, this is a pretty cool book. It's not a key issue, but still about five to five dollar book. Uh, I still, uh, I still love these books. These are early Bronze Age books that people were, uh, collecting. So I got these a little bit out of order. I do apologize for that. 1977, the Mad Cow Nova. Fantastic cover with Spider Man, the Avengers going against Nova, even though he eventually becomes a good guy. Um, I collected, I do collect this series. Uh, not a key issue, but it, it's still pretty valuable to me. Uh, cover, cover still covers pretty good. There's somewhere a tear, 
But uh, again, if you look on eBay, prices are going sky high for some of these books. Marvel Triple Action is a reprint of these earlier books. In the mid-70s, Marvel started to uh, uh, do reprints of these books, which I did not know that. I thought that was so cool. So I did a bit of research. Fortunately, there's some mark on here. So uh, this is probably a dollar bin book for, for most people. But to me, it's about a $3 book. So I will... Uh, bag of boarded and still keep it in my collection. Uh, so I do have the Defenders on uh, number 65 cover date, uh, 1978. So, uh, now this is in way better condition, I think. This is so cool. Uh, love, love the Defenders. Uh, did you guys want, um, even though this is the Defenders on Netflix, it's not based on this. Did you guys watch that, that, that Netflix show? I, I loved it. I love those four. Uh, this is a different version of the Defenders from Batman. Uh, this is about a $15 book, so pretty cool. Uh, I do have some pretty valuable Bronze Age comics. So, uh, the Mad Cold Nova, number 19. Uh, this is probably another $10 book, I say, because uh, Nova is going to make an uh, entrance in the MCU at some point. So, these will start heating up at some point. Uh, so, they came from Inner Space... Uh, the Micronauts, number one. Now, this is a very expensive key book. This is a you can, uh, about $20 to $30 book because there's several first persons in there. And it's, a, it's just an awesome issue, number one, to have. And so it goes in my number one uh, box of number one. So pretty cool. Uh, Marvel Spotlight on Captain Marvel. It is a key issue, 1979. On another more expensive Book that I own is about a ten to fifteen dollar book because it's on Captain Marvel. So last, uh, I do have a couple more after, after this. I do have get them. Got a little bit bit messed up, so I apologize for that. So uh, the Man Thing number three uh, from nineteen seventy nine. Uh, this is a key issue. First appearance of Fool Killer. It is about a thirty dollar book as it stands. So uh, again, another valuable book in my collection. Uh, I did buy a bunch of Bronze Age comics uh, a few years ago, and kind of, but this book started to heat up for some reason, so I'm glad I hung on to it. Um, so also in the 70s, like I said earlier, um, this title, Betty and Veronica, started to heat up because uh, the female po population was starting to uh, read them more, which, yes, Betty and Veronica are always popular, I, I mean, I have a bunch of these in my collection. I am an Archie collector, so I, I'll, I'll put, uh, uh, do a YouTube special on, on uh, my, some of my Bronze Age comics for you guys. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool that these books were really popular. This is dated, um, 19, 1973. So it is, uh, older than I am by a couple of years, but there's still some wear and tear, but I, I also bag and board it. So another, um, 1970s comment is Fantastic Four 120. Um, unfortunately it is, uh, wear and tear in my, uh, collection, but I've had this for a long, long time. I'm a Fantastic Four collector. It is one of my favorite, uh, comic book series. So to me, it will always be valuable, but I, I will bag and board it, and it is what it is for condition-wise. It's King Size Special Fantastic Four. If this was in better condition, it'd be about twenty dollar butt. But as you guys can see, um, some wear and tear. Um, just some. Uh, the fortunately, when I bought this, it the condition was not there. But I would rather have it than somebody else, just because I am a huge Fantastic Four. So this is probably about three to five dollar book, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. So for next th Thursday, I will do another adventures Thursday. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll do another mix of com comments between valuable and not so valuable because of condition wise. But my comment tip on the week is um, if you are uh, going on holidays, make sure you work. Then you can afford comic books. I, I work a lot, but I also like to travel and go to different places. So we all like to do different things. And thank you for watching him. I can subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Sunday for new comments that I got, especially for free comic book day. Did you guys get free comic books? Or did you decide not to this year? 
I mean, I I was lucky enough my two two comic book shops when I was away. I got some, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys on Sunday.